it's interesting how both teams have kind of uh, spread around the map. So they kind of traded positions. One team is on the top and one is on one. And now, only now, they start to slowly pepper at each other, but they're not really engaging too much. And it seems like we might have an attempt to ninja cap from Cataphrag team. So let's see if they can pull it off. Madlebull is in the grass to decap, I assume, but... Yeah, but yeah. is there. So those are only two units that are trying to cap. But yeah, it's putting some pressure on team Naked Fanatics. Sin is now pushing in the middle. Uh, he, has, he has taken a correct path, because if he would go to the Watchtower, then he would have been blocked. Sin is taking damage from yeah. that Pi guy. They're duking it out right now. So Sin, I think, just barraged, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but Pardon, think Pardon did, just got a huge recharge into Tumbulus, but if he doesn't run away now, he'll get Oof. cut down very quickly by this Roman infantry. Yeah, but Camping is happening. Yeah, Sin got completely wrecked by uh, Slingers. That's, that's just it. Slingers are counted to arches. There we go. He's the proof. Especially in Alpert terrain when there's nowhere to hide. Team Cataphracts had their enemies exactly where they wanted them to. So they approached them through the open ground. There's no cover to hide from Slingers or... Uh, or scorpions. If they went through the forest, they would have have some cover of uh, view range. They would have been yeah. spotted later. The range advantage wouldn't be that significant. Maybe they should have went for base capture. Who knows? That pie guy is just roaming through the center with slingers. He's got no issues. He's like, okay, come cavalry, come at me. It's no problem. He's yeah. he's very very confident. He's in positioning right now. He has crisis. He has pardon them. He he knows he can trust them. Those are all very good players. So. You yeah. won't see something like that in random play unless you have a good party of four around you to protect you. But uh, this is the entire team that he can trust, so he has completely no issues with that aggressive positioning. Yeah, and his DPS is just uh, racking up. The same with uh, Melania. Melania is a 1.6k aggression points. And that Pi guy is 1.4. If I'm not mistaken, they are the top so, so far DPS that's in the game. So Now they're doing the wise thing that they should have done from the very beginning. They're moving through forest, which nivellates the range advantage, at least a little bit. Yeah. And we can see those tier 6 uh, gentlemen are quite good at taking damage. They have just gotten uh, showed by... Uh, <clears throat> they just got two volleys from Slingers and they're just fine. Yeah. They're pushing in, but there's not enough um, melee units to protect them. And Melania he, again. Scorpion doing... fire, yeah. It's wrecking those gentlemen. I think it's now a case of snowballing the game. Yeah, it looks like it now, yeah, now it's just a formality for Team uh, Catafrax to finish it. Like yeah, even, and they're taking even, their if time. If they commit now, like everything just. You want me to rush the other team? Um, I think there is no way they can do this at this point. No. And they're playing way, way too intelligent for uh, for fanatics. I mean, even now with all this uh, number superiority, they're still not uh, overly aggressive. They're, they're still giving Melania time to. Oh, Melania just got shot by a specific, but he's quick. He's pulling back out. That's good. And Cavalry, Scorpions... which is ooh, yeah. Scorpions have one thing's going for them, just like any artillery. Is even if they got reduced in numbers, they can still use all of their equipment. So. And here we have the GG. I think that concludes the first game. Yeah. Clearly, clearly, one team has uh, way higher unity and um, teamwork than than the other. I would uh, say just uh, gauging okay. quickly. This time, first blood has been drawn much, much earlier than before. So teams are trying to be more aggressive this time. And what we can see from Team Naked Fanatics is a huge push for the forest. So they have learned from their mistakes. And oh, they're here trying we go. something different. Yeah, ravaging the forest. They have been spotted. Yeah, but they, they split like half of the team went to, uh, to the hill, half of the team went to the forest. They need to be together because if the team in the forest, that group in the forest gets separated. Barrage on Jacques Herp. Yeah. Let's see. It kind of misses. Jacques Herp just charged out of it. Is this charge to dodge? Yeah. He dosed most of it, apart from the initial yep. shots. 60% dodged. That's good. That's decent. He still took a massive hit, but hey, you can't have everything. Thing. Let's have different targets. Yeah, Pi Guy is now... Yeah, he has vision on Sin. Sin needs to close the distance, but Pi Guy doesn't allow for him to do that. Yeah, Sin is getting hammered yet again. Seems like they just found an answer for Team Naked Fanatics. 
Maybe they have done yeah. the homework. Gets Nexus still held the flag. I think, look, he's still fighting the... He's still he's capping the flag with one unit while fighting two. I think he's doing really good in that position there. Let's hope that it, yeah, the that team can take advantage. That is really crucial. Yeah, cavalry just got singled out. Now he's getting surrounded and cut down. Specific is routed. Yeah, that's the end of it, cavalry for team uh, Naked Fantasy. They have one unit left in the back now who is, uh, that is not approaching the front line. Anyways, it's a GG. They did... Uh, I think Fanatics uh, did better. I think they did better than in... At least they put up a serious fight now. They, they properly pushed uh, Cataphracts out of the, uh, the marshes and they forced a serious uh, repositioning, a serious redeployment re of them. Yep, so we have the first victory. Uh, team Cataphracts advances to the final. Traded and watching the entire... Uh... Oh, there we go, first barrages, barrages, barrage. Oh, here we go. Oh, the damage was kind of equal. On Darkness, yeah. just focus on one unit. Vrabis just got equally wrecked amongst his three units. And we have Red Duke Cavalry behind uh, enemy lines. Yeah, that's what I was talking about initially. Uh, Red something, with Red Duke with his uh, infiltrated cavalry has been spotting, I don't know, since the beginning, has been spotting the entire Praetorian team. And they, they don't seem to have noticed him, so he's just roaming around, no problem. <laughs> so, yeah. Basically, now Dart has got a barrage before Rabis could get a barrage on uh, Dardas. Yep. You know, barrage Another barrage, barrage happening. Uh, oh. um, equal exchange between Scott and Barrage, but I think it's... Uh, oh yeah, Look, looks yeah. like uh, the Team Praetorians is preparing to cross because yeah. they feel like they don't have advantage in the uh, arches anymore. And that cavalry yeah. is still very threatening. And yeah, Team Praetorians is crossing. Barrage with aggressive positioning, shooting at the Dinaneras uh, gentlemen. Those javelmen can do a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. The archers on Team Royal Spartans are heavily damaged, so... Here we they're, go, they're, they're lining up for an assault. Look at that, the, the, the cavalry of Red uh, yeah. Red Duke is about to cause havoc. There's Hell Sun Tzu, but that's two units trying to protect, like, what, five, six units? Like, Rabbis doesn't matter, he's, he's dead, yeah. Red Duke doesn't care about him, he's charged, he's trying to oh. uh, get him, getting, getting wrecked. Oh um, man, that was good. The charge wiping out two of the units, third one is getting cut down in melee right now, but that's Grungi charges that are not really good at cutting down uh, range units once they caught them. Another but, charge yeah, going in on... Charge. Uh, into, an, into armor legionary, so it wasn't really that effective. But, yeah. Xer, Xer is at the back of the enemy as well, he's trying to pull off the same maneuver on the enemy as yeah, that's they received. Okay, KV and his gentlemen are getting a charge. Oof, uh, a little bit that was good. Charge. Uh, Team Praetorians is a slight advantage, just very, very slight, but they're pulling it off with melee units. They may have uh, lost their advantage in range units, but... Looks like yeah. just, just their infantry is doing so good. And it, once the you use your infantry, Cooper. you're done for. Caesar and Sula players on their team, so yes. the yes, buffs yes, yes. are just insane. The buffs and debuffs. That, yeah, that he's still, Sun Tzu is still running around with uh, Vichy on him from Caesar, so while he's whipping around as well, so that's... That's again, they, they know their thing, they, they know what to do, they know... Yeah, and I think the most important... Caesar, so his unit is just very, very live, that's one man on 48 HP. But that one man is providing the buffs for the entire team. Oh, oh seems just, like... Just got really flanked. Yeah, that's, that's the Team Royal Spartans done for. I'm not going to chase you around, I'm just gonna stand here in my testudo, uh, smoke my cigar and uh, get some capping points. Yeah, oh no, Re Reddy just cap. got some decapping points. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's not the the best plan. It's a lazy plan, but yeah, it seems like a wrap up. It's just unbelievable how they just stood there and took the beating. I mean, yeah. The other side, barrage happening, and we have already oh. first barrages. And that was like yeah. completely one sided exchange. Dart is just got wrecked absolutely by Rabis. So turn some fire. He gets Barash off into Rabis, but Rabis is trying to dodge that. Oh, I don't know. A yeah, good exchange, kind of. but not, not that good at us uh, from Rabis at the beginning. I like how both of the team's cavalry players are roaming around oh. and scouting. and ba Barash is Barash against uh, Xer's cavalry. And A complete Xeris. miss. Yeah, They're behind the enemy team. Barash on Rabis. Ooh, that's... Yeah. Now they're yeah. crossing, so they have... Now Team Royal Spartans has uh, range advantage. Uh, vision uh, range advantage. Uh, Return is just go for, going forward. It's like, yeah, 
you're going to fight this out. Something is happening. Someone's going to die. Oh, Red Duke just got the charge. Oh, my God. There was a massive charge in the center from Red Duke on the archers. He oh, caught yeah. the archers flash. And barrage oh, yeah. happening. And now barrage is killing rabbits off. Yeah, that can turn Ooh. the battle in favor of teams Royal Spartans. Mm. Xer got a very, very nice charge into the back of uh, the Uh Now Kivis, uh, Kivis Javelin are exposed. Bramalan should start protecting him on the side of that infantry. Another barrage from Dark Dust going into Dr. Scott. Uh, all archers are on low HP right now, so they... Oh, but no, barrage is on full health still. Yeah. So Team Royal Spartans has the advantage in archers. As I said, they were supposed to kite in the previous battle. They didn't. They failed the execution. Now they have started kiting what they were supposed to do, what their team composition was created to. Whoa. And now we can see the efficiency of their tactic. Xer has his cavalry chasing Barros. Let's see how this goes. But what are they doing? They got, they're entangling each other. Oh, oh yeah. my god. I think he just charged into, into King Nicholas's unit. Yeah. It's yeah. nice Caesar to provide buffs for him. He's just so alive, barely. Yeah, that's a GG. Cobb just got the tower. Oh, and he saw all of them. Cobb just ninja the tower and saw the entire uh, Spartan team. Uh, oh, Royal half Spartans. Of, half of it, because the other half is going through the middle. I think the idea now is to play it safer. Yeah, but we I shall mean, see. Uh, Thermopylae is a very good map to camp. I just hope that won't be the case. Oh, there we go. Barrage into Bojack up. And now the advantage is on Team Royal Spartans. And Team Royal Spartans, what they can do now... It just pull back towards their their own base. It's like, hey, we have man advantage. You come to us. There we go. Some shots from Rabis. Wow. Into Barosh. And I uh, think he got oh. it. Yeah. He got it. Barosh Decent. needs to respond, and his Barosh needs to deal more damage to Rabis right now. But uh, Doctor Scott is also in a position to punish Barosh, and that's just a two v one archer duel right now that Barosh yeah. is getting himself into. Let's see. Do do they pull it off? He's going for oh. it. Doctor Scott doesn't respond. He's getting flat Barosh. <laughs> Wow, oh, that's a good uh, that's a that's a good barrage. Yeah, that's a good that's response. So it's still even. Barrage happening yet again on Vrabis. Man, Vrabis has been getting barrage all day long. Yeah, he's nearly dead. Dardas Milo yeah. is almost full HP, but he used strain he, for he it. He replied back. So, yeah, yeah. Dardas used strain, which is a minus fifty percent speed, which means he cannot dodge efficiently enough. But now he's hiding in the forest. Jacob is coming around. He he seems to be falling back and trying to help his team. Yeah, we, that, that comes, know. yeah. Uh, they've, they've realized that Bojakov can't be there because he'd been seen last time uh, a long time ago. So yeah, he made the it. The trooper is fighting and got completely routed in the woods by Falksman. Yeah, they, they try to do something because they have to do something. They try to c catch uh, Dark Dust's archers off guard, but Team Royal Spartans was prepared for that. They managed to turn their own mistakes into a perfect bait. So now the I guys think... are sucking, up, uh, sucking in the enemy team uh, towards yeah. the middle. And I, I can see a pincer maneuver happening very uh, very soon. Definitely, definitely. Oh, they're the, fighting. The infantry can still win it, yeah. Sun Tzu and Dean Trooper have caught Bram down in the center. And King Nikolai is following up with the charge. That's going to be a wipeout for that unit. Yeah, Royal Spartans are now losing their infantry heavily. And Fog, uh, Foxman won't be as effective in this area as... As the, heavy infantry. The pincering maneuver is happening, exactly what you're saying. So the, the rest of the royal team has come out of the woods and is going to flank right into the back of the Praetorian. Yeah. So and let's see. Th those are fast scenes, so they're able to punish them very fast. But if they'll manage to, I, I think it's a little bit maybe too late. But uh, Dardas, oh, Dardas just got charged by Bojakov. So Dardas is dead pretty much. There's still Barosh with two full HP arches now doing some good friendly fire. Red Duke is chasing off uh, Bojakov, and he got a very good charge. Not perfect, but yeah, Bojakov managed to dodge a little bit of it. I think the Praetorians might just pull this back. I think they dug up and they're fighting it out. And oh, Sun Tzu yeah. just went back to defend uh, Tetide, and they're doing good. So Team Royal yeah. Spartans have now made a call to go and just cut the base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is... It can be a base race, and we have to keep in mind that if, if Bojakov wins this uh, cavalry deal, which he's going yeah. to, he can decap, and there's nothing to decap on the side of, well, there's just one unit of infantry. Ah, this is an amazing game. If the Praetorians pull this out, this is going to be like a Hail Mary. Yeah, that, they... that, that's a base race, and Bunch is pretty much even. It's a 20, uh, 299 to 301. 
That's so damn close. One thing that uh, here we go. Two brother Spartans is going for them. Our archers that are not separated. It's not protecting Barros right now. It's a huge positional mistake. I There's think nothing. Bozikov might just win this. I think if he gets to decap, I think they win. Yeah. Radic is going in. Radic is going. In. He can uh, decap some as well. It's a huge blob of uh, infantry over here that he can decap. He's charging in right now. Yeah. Dad. They need to chase. They need to chase. Ah. I don't think he's gonna get there in time. Kiv, Kiv I don't think he's faster. Kiv is going. Kiv can decap, but they're running away. King is going to deploy his uh, Testudos very closely. Oh, oh yeah. will he get there in time? Oh my god! That won't deal damage. Oh. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> the team wow. Royal Spartans failed the cap. Alright. Yeah, so Tibor Spartans are pushing for the middle. Well, we've got combat already over at the um, the right side, your right side. Red Duke is after charging yeah. into Ma um, Mad PL. Oh, yeah, Red, Red Duke definitely won the charge, which is good. Oh, yeah, three units him. versus one there. And now they're setting up a kiting defense. Specifically, he needs to pull out because Tibor Spartans is just pushing heavily. Boris is about to deploy his spikes. He managed to do so. Kark is getting sucked into Baruch's spikes. Uh, it's a very good position for him. He is very hard to flank in this position of his. Very oh, a oh huge my god! Baruch and uh, Scorcher combo. Scorcher uh, decreases your missile block as well, but the Baruch mostly missed. It seems like the naked fanatics are just losing on almost every in every situation. But they seem to be really strong on their right side next to the wall, to find that very strong amount of archer support coming in from Sin. Well, he's just about to get charged. Now by X Cred, although Tomulus has got him, he's protecting him, so he's able to fend off that charge pretty well. Yeah, X Cred coming in event. again. Yeah, he's see. got a very slow cap going on right now. I can't see who's in, who's capping the base, but yeah, it, it is going like... to pick. It is going to pick up. Uh, another player is coming in. So Team Royal Spartans have secured a victory for themselves. And a funny thing, I can I watch my stream right now, and the battle just loaded in there. <laughs> it's already over. Yeah. It's a very different setup. So Dardas manages to get a barrage on Sin. Sin tries to return some damage, but he's just too late. Dardas, Dardas used strain. He's in math, so that's a huge, huge speed debuff. So despite Sin firing in second, the exchange is pretty equal. And they still have uh, support of specific to equal the damage between those two R2 players. How's it going on the right side for or left side for Naked Fanatics? I can see they have the watchtower there, but they don't seem to be pressing pressing yeah, they, forward. They just have one cavalry over there, right. sitting on the watchtower and nothing else. We have Tomulus sitting on the second tower. He just left it because well, that one is completely singled out. That is now going to get Expert going in for a charge from yep. We see here he is. He's just he's just going to flank him. He needs three units though to route him correctly. But yeah, that cavalry managed to give them sight on Rav Rage. Probably got hunted. Yes, one of his units got hunted, and so that allowed for Dardust to just snipe Rav Rage. He's now just holding him for Barrage. Barrage is coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the bikes. He's with the other, so he's very fast. He can slow down. Tomos with fear. Yes, Tomos is fear, so he can uh, just he can run away. So we will see some good friendly fire. Bikes maybe. Are engaged and seem to be hitting X Cred. <laughs> Yeah, Barrage from Sin punishes Barrage heavily. That's almost all of his ins gone, and Sin isn't even full HP. But he still has a lot of soldiers left. So despite him being on low HP, he still has almost all of his, his uh, firepower. But now got a Barrage coming in from Dark Dust onto Sin. Yeah, but now the the Royal Spartan team is pushing in. They have lured away a Team Naked Fanatics from the middle, and that mm -hmm. allowed them to push through the middle as well. So we are seeing the replay sort of. The previous battle, but now Team F uh, Naked Fanatics is, um, is in a much better position. Seems like they are going to fight at Mini Forest. They, they're already engaged between Jojo and Kark PL. Brahmadan and Barrett are also going in. X Red with cover behind, he caught Sin. Uh, Ravage is, is trying to prevent X Red from cutting down Sin completely. Uh, Sin, yeah, Sin lost a lot of his firepower right now. So the Archer mismatch is now pretty much neglected. The, both archers from both. Looks like Red Duke is coming into the forest to take out the, that Scorpion artillery. Yeah, He's coming in for a charge now. Mad managed to do uh, also find a very good charge on Barosh, a surprising left flank, but Barosh managed to deny it, 
and he won't route right now. But he's getting cut down by two Molus, two units of two Molus and one with Matpial. But now Galzak is pushing in with his Phalanx, doing a lot of damage to Brahmadan. He's running into it, but he's sacrificing one of his units to keep Galzak in Phalanx to allow Kiwi to just fire in and deal with that Phalanx uh, using Javelins and Barrage from Darkest. He's got his back facing the unit as well. It seems like he's not really paid attention to what he needs to do there, Brahmadan. Gazak is about to be surrounded, but Jojo can't really commit to that uh, flanking maneuver because Matt is threatening yeah. Dardas' arches. But Dardas' arches, well, they're almost dead. They don't have that much value anymore. So yeah, flanking getting rid of the phalanx, I guess, so, is the oh, best call. Oh, very close, Matt Piel nearly got Jojo. Yeah, Jojo turned around in time. Matt didn't commit to the charge. Yeah, but Spikes are now oh, dealing a lot of damage to Kark. Yeah, that just that went the one unit alone of Barrage. He's just preventing Team uh, Naked Fanatics from falling back. Uh, yeah, team Royal Spartans can just go in and pincer down Team Naked Fanatics and finish the job. Secure the victory. That reminds me of 10v10 between Polish Division and English Division. Oh, Bojakov just wrecked DevZA with a frontal charge. DevZA didn't react in time. Though he was first, so he should have spotted Boy Jacob first, but yeah, he's capping already. Might might kind of, I know it's obviously a slow cap of cavalry, but we might kind of put some pressure on for some Praetorians to pull back, maybe. Yeah, Rabbis managed to get a barrage uh, to Pygai. Yeah, they definitely have to pull back. They have to respond to that threat. They either have to send cavalry back to decap, or just pull back the entire team and give up their position in the middle, which looks like this is what they are doing. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. pulling Seems back like he's King taking Nikolai soon, so when Rabbis are going back to the base. Same happens with uh, the team on the Watchtower. So they are giving up their entire position they have secured uh, in the middle just to go and decap. The advantage, at least positional advantage, is on side of uh, Team uh, Cataphrax. And Salernum is one of the favorite maps for a lot of players because it really punishes camping. If you decide to camp close to your base, you're getting punished. Because you'll be and, uh, all the time attacked from a higher ground, and you'll have uh, well, the enemy team will have uh, vision range advantage. The watchtower obviously can see him now, so they're just kind of feeling each other out, and seeing where everybody is. Yeah. Zero is getting a charge on him. Devzi notices that. Oh, he managed to dodge yeah. most of the charge, just barely gets any damage. But now Bojakov oh, is charging. Oh, he's got him. another one. Oh, he dodged that with his uh, with a charge of his own. Bojakov actually runs into a wall. And gets damaged by it. Use um, infiltration. He's heading over to Desi. Desi sees him. He's pulling back. He's trying to run Seems away. Like now we have a huge... are pushing up now in the middle into the forest. Yeah, now we have a huge fight in the middle, breaking out slowly. Ichabod is getting wrecked by Teddy Nero's javelin. Seems like a very poor decision to push up this way. They've completely fun. Yeah. They're funneled in this tiny little choke point uphill. Doesn't seem like. That's what yeah, they should have done. I guess Nexus and Jacob that are uphill, they're not attacking, they're not committing. Got a barrage coming in now on that pike guy yeah. and Jacob. That, that was pretty much a perfect dodge. Pretty much no yeah. damage that dealt by that uh, barrage. And Gets Nexus and Ikeba just got kited to death. Well, Ikeba just got killed to death and Gets Nexus is getting kited. Jacob is going in with his dogs right now, but the level of commitment, uh, Team. Uh, Team Kadafak is uh, doing is just not enough. Bojakov is trying now to stop him, to pincer him in so that uh, yeah, he's getting, infantry he's can getting cut very him down. Caught. He'll just about get out now on this side exit. Another charging coming. Most into a wall again. <laughs> yeah. Lost almost half his unit there that time. Wait, will I stand away? No. <laughs> I need to make way for <laughs> Okay, they, they, they started to fight each other. Yeah, so Pardonom looks like he'll win the duel. Bojakov would need to go around and charge him in the back, otherwise he's just gonna lose the duel, I think. Just seems so strange, like what was the plan, you know? Yeah, the Team Praetorians, uh, staying true to their name, they have a lot of Roman infantry, and that Roman infantry mm. will have a, ro a lot of raw, just fight power. And if that raw fight power is allowed to fight a fair 1v1 fight in a choke point like this, they're just going to wreck. So the battle has ended, Taran has impaled himself. Yeah, GG. It's 1 0 for Team Praetorians. Definitely proving themselves. Uh, they're a very capable team. It's now pushing a little bit towards we the Watchtower area. 
and that spike guy just got a charge of Bob Jacob mm -hmm. with his wedge cavalry. Rob is in a position to punch Paya. Oh, that barrage will hurt a lot. Paya was dodging barrages. Pretty much every barrage uh, that was sent his way, he dodged. He dodged most of this barrage as well. So he wasn't yeah. punished that much. If they secure that watchtower, that's a huge advantage. Like, they'll see everything. In Calafrax are closing in. Like, if they can execute this maneuver per uh, perfectly, like, close in from various angles at the same time, then they get Teddy Nenera's javelin man will be such a good counter against that heavy infantry uh, composition of Team Cataphrax. Now, I guess Nexus secures a little bit of ground for him. He does he sneaks in, but Pojakov is there to prevent him from doing so. With just one of his units, the second, the other two units of his, managed to catch DevZA completely off guard. So now that uh, Team Cataphrax cavalry is neutralized pretty much. Uh, so many bullets oh, here. Why that not? Pardon needs to come in and charge. He's going for it now. There we go. Yeah, he'll find Rabis. Yeah, but that wasn't enough kind damage. Of, yeah. Not nearly enough. Not and just too little too late. This was a full-on assault, but uh, it wasn't... Again, if you really want to assault, bring some assault weapons, bring some light artillery, uh, more more nuke power. They've got Romans. What do you take to beat Romans? You don't take dogs. You don't take uh, light cavalry. It's a GG. 2-0 for Team Pretorius. GG. Yeah. As we move on to Augustus Pass. Both teams can go for the watchtower, we'll see. We see Pi Guy coming in and DevZA going for that watchtower. There's a lot of infantry here, so cavalry cannot possibly hold it. Why did Bojaka just charge there? Yeah, I know I know it was infiltration, but he charged. Oh, yeah. He charged his only Team unit. Kim Catafrage just got a huge advantage, though so now Bojakov with counter charges. Mm, yeah, that's a good punish. Yeah, Team Let's see how they moving, reacted. Yeah, Team is moving heavily into the base. They are trying to cap. There's only Gets Nexus over there to defend it. The light artillery is rushing to the Pardon cameras. is coming in now. Yeah, but that's one unit preventing him from getting back. Uh, oh, wow. Get through the charge? Nope. Yeah. Wow. That's an interesting way to end the tournament. That's 3-0 that's for Team Praetorians. They have outplayed GG. them just on a the macro level. That's just pure positioning outplay.